Hey everyone. So in this video, we're just going to go over some visual models of the process of photon emission, which is how these different atomic emission spectra that we've been talking about are created. So we're going to draw a model and also explain what we're drawing. So we're going to start with an electron in ground state, which is the energy level that is closest to the nucleus. And we'll just say for our caption here, the electron starts in ground state. All right, the next thing that's going to happen to our little electron here is it is going to absorb some energy. So we're going to draw a little squiggly arrow to represent energy. And that could be energy in the form of heat or electricity or a photon of light. Anyway, this electron absorbs energy. So we'll just say electron absorbs energy. And that again could be heat, light, electricity. So once that electron has this energy, that is going to cause it to jump to an excited state. So it could jump to this one or this one, depending on the amount of energy that it has. Let's just draw it up here. So electron moves to excited state, which is a higher energy state. And then moving down to our fourth panel here, the electron does not want to stay in excited state. It wants to move back down. So we're going to have the electron move down to ground state. So we're going to draw a little arrow there. And then it's going to release energy as it does that. So I'm going to draw a little squiggly arrow. And this energy is going to come in the form of a photon. So a photon of light. So we'll say electron releases or emits is another word we could use here. That's E-M-I-T-S. Releases or emits energy in the form of a photon of light. And then we'll draw our electron back here in ground state again. And we'll just say electron ends in ground state. And just to help you understand, this process takes place extremely quickly, like less than a second. Electrons are bouncing up to excited state, coming back down. Obviously, when you're heating up an element sample, there's going to be billions and billions of atoms all having their electrons doing this. So there's going to be lots of photons coming off, lots of light. And this process can just keep going continually as you keep giving energy to the atom.